Uncertainty looms for thousands of renal patients who undergo dialysis in private hospitals across the country after the facilities threatened to withdraw the services due to payment delays from the National Hospital Insurance Fund, NHIF. As NTV's Gabriel Kudaka now tells us, we know ex experts are also calling for the prioritization of a bill that will enable harvesting of organs from the dead to be used by those in need. This has Kenya joined the world in marking the kidney day. For the last six years, Abraham Kipkemoi, a border border rider in Eldoret, has been undergoing dialysis twice a week at the Rafa hospitals and clinics in Eldoret after developing kidney failure. He is, however, unsure of getting these services after the facility threatened to stop providing the same due to delayed payments from NHIF. The hospital is owed over 70 million shillings by NHIF. <laughs> Because the cost of uh, providing care is going up, but payments are unreliable. And as Abraham eagerly waits for transition of NHIF to the new cover, SHIF, he hopes it will also cater for post-kidney transplant medication. maybe transplant fully, fully cover post-transplant cover fully. Meanwhile, nephrologists have urged the parliament to expedite the enactment of the Kenya Blood and Organ Transplantation Bill that will legalize and regulate harvesting of organs from the deceased to help those in need. So, Matakaro on as I harvest a total of Kamama organs 79, or Batia Watu 79 people. Gabriel Kudaka, NTV.